all right so in this video i am going to be doing an initial impressions of my final mouse ultralight x so i did receive this um i would say two days ago but because of thanksgiving i didn't really do much uh, game gaming wise so this mouse is still very new i don't have many hours playing with this so far um, and I wanted to do an early impressions video, especially because so many people have been getting bad copies. And I'm sorry about this stupid glare. Um, it's kind of sunny out right now. But, um, yeah, so the first thing we're going to get into is what the unboxing experience was about, because that was a little interesting, too. Um, so when I got the original box, I could not find the grips, uh, but they were actually just in the big box that they give you not in this box just like the big box anyway when you open it up you're greeted with just the manual the mouse the extender uh the little dongle the cable and that is it there is nothing underneath this so they don't give you a lot no spare feet no nothing like that uh which i wish they would do because i actually a lot of people hate final mouse feet I actually don't. I actually think they're pretty good when they're broken in. So, um, yeah. And the first thing I checked for when I took this out of the box was side flex. And on my copy, I'm happy to report there's absolutely zero side flex on my copy. Actually, there's a tiny, tiny bit when I really, really press on the right side. Um, but you cannot feel it. You really cannot feel it. And it's kind of just like a little bit of like a push feel not even really side flex so on my copy i would say i have very minimal side flex um i have zero rattle in terms of the mouse and i also have no real concerns with my click wobble um, i have a little bit on the right click as you can see here when i really move it and of course, just the way that these tr triggers are, um, the way that they're split here, if you put your finger here and just start going back and forth, you will get it to move. That's just the nature of the click. So if you see someone stomp their finger down on the click like this and then start wiggling like this, that is an unfair test. Um, there's no real click wobble on either of my clicks. Uh, the camera is so dark. So... Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing. Um, there's no creaking or flex on the back of my shell either. Um, that's also a good thing. You can see, so I know like those indents on the clicks were like a big cause for concern, right? I don't know if you guys even know what I'm talking about, but people were complaining about like the indents that are right here on the clicks. You do, like I said in my in, in, in my video, or I think it may, may have been a Twitter post, you don't feel them. They are subtly there. It's just the outline of the click, uh, the inside of the click, the shell. Not the shell of the click, but part of the click, how it works. Um, you do not feel it and you can barely see it. So there's no cause for concerns of anything you're going to feel on the clicks besides the little ridges of the design here that you do feel and i did have i do have a picture my st mine came up to 38 grams on the dot with no grips um i will open the grips and show you what they look like i'm not going to tell you how what i feel about them but i will show you what they look like they're very very thin rubber pieces um which is uh, all right I'll, I'll just show you actually um yeah this is how thin they are i believe they're not meant to be actual grips i believe the only point that they serve is to just simply cover up the holes and provide the least weight as possible i believe that's what the point of it is and in terms of, um, I know a lot of people said that their design, like where the gold is, was very like messy or like not perfect. Mine seems perfect. Um, and I don't have any real bottom flex either, even when I press on it. So 
I must have just gotten a very good one. And the clicks, um, I will spoil this now, super, super, super light, but they are a little bit inconsistent. The arm runs that they're using are very clearly not good quality. Um, now, this is very important when you're talking about changing the clicks of this specific mouse. Carbon fiber, uh, the material that they're using has is very um, flexible, whereas magnesium was very thick and um, not flexible, the opposite of flexible. So the click choice that you're going to want to replace these with is going to be completely opposite. You're going to want a heavy click for these or your clicks are going to feel very mushy, very post pre travel They're going to feel very mushy and shitty. Um, in the magnesium starlight, you would want the opposite. You would want a very light click. Uh, but in this, you would want like a blue shell pink dot. You would not want that in a starlight. You would want like a Japanese Omron in a starlight. Uh, but the side buttons, I mean, the classic Final Mouse side buttons, I have no issues with them at all. They actually seem like they're even more stable than they were on the starlight. They don't move back and forth or rock or anything like that. And I will show off the X panel software too because. I believe that's uh, an important piece to this mouse. So, all right, so I'll be honest with you, I completely messed up the recording um, for the X-Panel software, so I'm gonna add this in now, way later, a few days later, um, but I think it's important to go over. So the X-Panel software is Chromium only, so you can only use it on browsers like Chrome, Edge, and stuff like that. Um, and when you get onto it, you see your mouse, you see um, everything like that, and you'll see if it's up to date, uh, DPI polling rate, all that stuff. When you go to DPI, you can change it on the spot here. Um, and then for polling rate, 4,000 hertz, or I mean, um, 8,000 hertz, when this comes out, it's not out yet. It will not have motion sync just because of the sensor. So I'm just making that known now. Um, but yeah, 4,000, 2,000, 1,500. LOD, 1 millimeter, 2 millimeter. Motion sync, um... You can play around with that. And then dongle LOD, I do use battery, battery level indication. I think that's pretty useful. And then for the firmware, it'll show you exactly when it's up to date. It's actually a really, really great software. Um, so, yeah, and I, I actually don't think you can make your own DPI. So I think you are still stuck with 400, 800, 1600, 3200, and 6400 just forever. So, um, yeah that's basically and then up here it just shows all the other stuff um that's basically software it's pretty simple uh, and your wireless connection strength is pretty important too but um yeah that's pretty much the software and yeah that's me in this video peace